In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a Cloudmersive document conversion connector action in Power Automate that retrieves each comment from a docx document and provides it, along with its relevant metadata, in a hierarchical list in the API response. This can be used quickly and easily in conjunction with OneDrive and SharePoint files, and we can share the information we retrieve anywhere we want. To demonstrate, let's run through a quick instant cloud flow so we can see the output objects from this operation. Starting on the flow diagram page, let's first set up an action to grab our demo file. I'm using a lorem ipsum document located in OneDrive, so I'm setting up a OneDrive get file content action. Once the document ID shows up, we can find and incorporate our Cloudmersive document conversion step. Let's click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of Cloudmersive connectors below, let's go ahead and select the document conversion connector with the lime green logo. Once we click on that, we'll be prompted to name our connection and provide an API key if we haven't used this connector before. You can get an API key for free with a limit of 800 API calls per month by registering a free account on our website. Once we create our connection, we'll end up on the connector actions list. From here, let's type get comments and select the one that says get comments from a docx document hierarchically. Once we have that opened up, all we need to do is provide our file content in the first field as dynamic content, and then we can provide whatever name we want in the second field. There are lots of different ways we can share or store our text output from this flow, but instead of doing that, let's just run it as it is and take a look at the response object. Let's first save our flow, And once it finishes saving, let's run a quick manual test. When our flow finishes running, let's open up the Cloudmersive step again and review our response object. The full object contains metadata from each comment in our document, which includes our comment path, author name, author initials, comment text, comment date, and any replies to that comment, as well as a status boolean. Below the comments object, we also get an integer which represents the number of top-level comments included in the document. Top level just means they are original comments, and it doesn't include the reply child comments which were detailed in the comments object. We can access any of this information as dynamic content downstream in our flow, and we can use that information to email, text, Slack, or even save comment data as we see fit. That concludes this demonstration. Thanks for watching and check back in on our channel for more useful Power Automate connector demos in the future.